So what causes inner ear balance problems? There are a whole slew or host or, or quite a few different uh, types of etiology that can create an issue within the inner ear. Um, one that's very common is this idea that the little crystals that are supposed to be in our ear, they can be uh, misplaced or they can find their way into an area they should not be. And when they do, they create a, a unique um, pole and they create a unique weight within that area that, that should not be there. And it exaggerates motion and it causes a person to feel brief bursts of vertigo or brief bursts of this awkward dizziness in their head. Um, so the crystals and the feeling like, are my crystals out of place? We get that a lot. So what would cause the crystals to be out of place? Infection. Um, so just like a viral infection or a bacterial infection, sometimes a, a head cold or really bad allergies that can become infected can, can make its way up into the inner ear space. Um, another one would be um, low blood pressure. So if you chronically have low blood pressure, your, your candidate um, or you're more susceptible to have this little crystal problem and reoccurrence of the crystals um, becoming misplaced. Another one would be just hitting your head. A head trauma or just bumping your head on something can quickly dislodge those crystals from being out of place. So one, one issue we see at times is the little crystals can get out of place and oftentimes we call that BPPV and that's a very common one. And maybe I'll take another one. So BPPV is probably the most common reason why people have vertigo. But another reason that someone might have vertigo is an issue called vestibular neuritis. We have a nerve that runs from our inner ear on up towards our brainstem. It's the vestibular nerve. And if that nerve gets infected, that causes a condition called vestibular neuritis. So it's literally an infection of the vestibular nerve. But when that nerve swells, when it gets infected, it gets inflamed and it swells, it causes severe vertigo. This is vertigo that is intense. People typically end up in the hospital, in the emergency room. And not only is it intense, it lasts for a long period of time. It'll go for days sometimes. Mm -hmm. So not just moments, not just a brief moment, it'll persist for a long, long time. And boy, people are sick and nauseous and it's an awful thing to go through. Um, but that's, that's another uh, fairly common cause of vertigo.